What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing? Are you enjoying the weekend? I am back in the familiar surroundings of this man's house. Sam, seen through glasses currently. What are you doing? I'm specking up a smart car. Specking <laughs> up a smart car, but enough of that. That is coming on a video that's going live tomorrow. Oh. So uh, there's a bit of a sneak preview of what's to come tomorrow when me and Sam go car shopping. Today, however, is a week on, or six days on, from FIFA 2015, the launch. FIFA? F1. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monza next week. Which I can't wait for anyway. Exactly, I love the track. I love the track. You like the track. It's not your favourite track. It's not my favourite track. No, no, it's not my favourite track. But it's Hamilton won it last It's my favourite so. track. Um, so anyway, I am back at Sam's and we're going to be practising, um, I think more just any circuit really. Well, you just, just general practice. Just it turned, general it turned practice. out we were really slow. Yeah, yeah. All the, all the comments in both our videos suggested that we were really slow. Yeah, so, it, so we think that we need a little bit more practice. So this vlog is going to be going live as a week from today, exactly. Monza is happening and we're going to be filming that we're going to be doing a little bit of mini challenges but also doing the Grand Prix as well so this In is it getting started. the online series which yeah. is coming soon guys. Oh welcome to Formula One we are not playing FIFA we are playing F1 2015 and if you haven't seen the last video I will leave the link in the description for both my video and also Sam's it was the first time that I have played F1 2015 on the PlayStation 4 I was useless we had to put a lot of um, of the assists on traction control things like that whereas Sam plays it complete everything off racing line off everything so are we just gonna select a race track yeah, and then just go for a blast let's just get used to the game let's just get comfortable with the physics for me it's getting comfortable with the controller, controller. Uh, it's very, very difficult to get used to the PlayStation controller having so, gone from an Xbox. On previous games, what was your strongest track? I do like Monza. Okay. Um, it's all straight. Yeah. Um, scroll through them as well, and okay, I'll be so able I'll to. I like area. Australia. I hate Australia. Oh, do you? But no, no, but I'm up for doing it. Okay, so okay. Uh, Australia, should we try Monaco? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to try Monaco. So as you may or may not know, me and Sam went to the Monaco Formula 1 Grand Prix this year and it was amazing. So we're going to go and try and do um, Monaco. <laughs> Sam is setting up to, he to set a hot lap from which me, for, the, for which I have to try and beat and I'm going to commentate in a very car spotting way. I've only ever been to Monaco to car spot. So at the moment we're going up the hill towards Casino Square which is where all of the supercars are lined up outside. I think the best cars that we've seen were the two kind eggs eggs together. What do you th what do you reckon? You're not going to comment because you're concentrating. And as we come down now past Tip Top, we do, do fantastic pizzas at a very cheap price in Monaco. And we come round to the hairpin now where the Fairmont is, and there's normally some nice cars parked outside. A white LaFerrari is probably the best outside that hotel. You come down to the big, big roundabout where Cipriani's is. You could turn left and go down towards the Grimaldi, or you could go up the stairs to McDonald's, which is where all of the car spotters go. And we come through the tunnel now, where lots and lots of supercars accelerate and rev very erratically, coming down to now the harbour, which is where all of the yachts are, and all of the members of the public have to stand behind metal fences and watch the rich people party. And we've got a couple more corners left to go. We're still in the harbour area, right coming up to the swimming pool, which I actually think is a Formula One term. We've got two corners left, or maybe more, I can't remember, but this is one of them. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, yeah, no, he's almost lost it. This is a shocking lap. This is a shocking lap. Your fastest is still the 119, 579. Really so Sam says that there's sometimes a ghost here, so I'm just going to drop the camera. I mean, that's just mental. Oh, we're coming in. Now, I actually am not going to do it from a supercar spotting mentality. I'm going to try and give you real life F1 commentary. So here we have a Ferrari into turn one. Oh, and he's hit the apex, which is a shocking surprise. <laughs> Probably because of all the assists he's got turned on, but <laughs> let's not get into that. Mm -hmm. Now coming flying through into Casino Square. He's run a little wide. He's going to have lost a few tenths there, but he keeps it together going downhill now towards the infamous hairpin. Again, he's run a little wide. This is going to be a theme, I think. Oh, and he's clipped the barrier into the hairpin very slow rides the curb oh and he's hit another barrier <laughs> it's dodging carts of formula one come on ah! 
Try to do a center there and crash into the barrier in the sea. Leaving a little bit wide. Into the infamous chicane. Right and then left and then right and then left. And now through to back. Will he hold the speed? Oh, he's always oh, driven that beautifully. I'll give him that compliment. Oh, and oh, and swimming pool is fantastic. Oh. Like, oh! It turns in quite quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's realistic or not. Oh! <laughs> and as we say that, he understeers horrendously. And now he's away. I feel like this is going to be a quicker lap time than me straight off the bat. No, it's not. We've got a few mini game challenges that we've created that we want to try and implement into our content for the Formula One 2015 series that we are doing. And one of those things is, uh, is bringing in artificial intelligent drivers into a race, starting at the back of a grid. And what are we doing? Seeing how long it takes to get up to the top? Or... Yeah, I think it should be a three lap race. A three lap start race. Start at the back, so that you have to do qualifying, we start at set a lap time, so that you start at the back of the grid. Yeah. And it's how the person who wins is who can get the furthest up the field without touching. Three laps. We're going to have vehicle damage on, so damage Ve will count. Yeah. Um, we'll have no flashback, so you can't rewind. Yeah. Um, and you're not allowed to restart, so it's literally, you've got three laps. Three so laps. You spin out, you have to catch people up yeah, again. Yeah, like, yeah. You can't so restart. three laps to get as far up the field as possible. Are we having penalties for cut, for touching cars? Like, I, you, if you if you touch a car but you gain the space, then... Like, I think it's fine, because I think vehicle damage is on. Okay, cool. So okay, yeah. Because if you're going to bug about, yeah. you're going to think like, I think if you just knock a car, you just knock a car. So this is it. This is a mini game idea called the Overtake Challenge. Oh, you've nailed it. It's not like a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like I've written it down or anything. Question is though, considering your level of skill, <laughs> what AI driver level do we do? Um... <laughs> yeah. So Sam's got traction control off. I don't think that was a bad that start. Was right, wasn't it? Not yeah. Too much wheel spin. What's this idiot doing? Taking no, the inside no. line, and you're up to 16, 14. You're up to 14th after okay. corner one, so you've gained six places. Oh, a legend, they would have just driven into me at that point. <laughs> I almost think it'd be funny a one lap shootout on medium because. You see if you can actually get to the. Yeah, see if oh, you can get, get to the front. first by the end of this lap. Who is he? Oh, <laughs> oh I wasn't even filming properly. And he's on the podium after one lap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one lap. Let... Do you want me to try one lap on medium and then, yes. and then we can see whether, it, yeah. whether we can move up to hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now Paul's turn on medium with all the assists on. Let's see what his start procedure's like. And he pulls away quicker than anything in the world. <laughs> that is just a joke. Oh, very nearly took everyone out. Did a Roman Grosjean and he's up to P8. Oh my God! Oh no! Oh no! It's all gone to hell! So we've come up with a final solution for the overtake challenge. I am going to be either Mercedes AMG or a Ferrari, like the, the, the top team. And Sam is going to be one of the lesser teams. We won't say one of the bottom teams, we'll say yeah. one, one of the lesser teams because Sam is a better driver than me. He's better at the game, but we want to keep the levels of AI the same. So we're going to do hard, two laps, to overtake as many people as possible from the back of the grid. I'm going to be in a hard, more a better car. You're going to be in a, in a worse car. I'm going to have some assists on. You're going to have no assists on. Yes. That's how one of the mini games is going to work. Another one of the mini games that I've suggested is the blind lap challenge. Now this is um, a weird concoction. I don't even know how I thought of this. Ha however, the plan is the driver is going to be blindfolded. They have one or two laps practice two laps two laps practice and then the third lap is blindfolded whilst our co-pilot slash driver is guiding us around the yeah. track i think it should be automatic though automatic so, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so okay so okay so auto gearbox is a must are we going to give that a go today Let's do it, let's do it. No, no, let's save that for next week. Okay, yeah, we'll save that for next week. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and following our journey and development stages of Formula One 2015 with Sam, who's been very antisocial, on the phone. <laughs> I've already spanned it around. Don't worry about it.
You're not on camera anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're just some of the ideas that we've had, but we've also had a bit of a practice and hopefully, well, I don't think I've, I, I don't feel like I've got any better, but I've got a long way to go before I can even catch up with Sam, but then Sam's got a long way before he even catches up with all of you guys, which <laughs> claim that we're really slow around every single circuit that we do. So we've got lots to do, lots of things to think about, but please, if you want to get involved in this series, leave a comment in the comment box below on any sort of idea you have, how we can get better, how we can produce better series, mini games, all of that sort of stuff as well. And then once I get my own PlayStation 4 as well, we're going to have a lot of fun with the online racing series. Every single time that there's a Formula 1 race on, we will be racing ourselves online with some of you guys that get into our hub, I suppose that is. The online hub, however it works. I have no idea and Sam isn't listening to me. So thank you for watching. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow for another daily vlog. And um, like always, thank you so much for your support. It is awesome thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you've liked it at all at any point in this video send a thumbs up quickly and say bye 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 see you tomorrow guys thanks for watching Whoa. i could just drive around